Hey guys, it's Danny Smith from 3D Kennels and I'm back at you with another video. This video will be geared more towards persons new to the breed or persons interested in getting an American Bully. So if that's you, stay tuned. Sticking to my purpose guys, today's video is going to be about the most common health issues the American Bully faces. Again, this is more towards the new persons or persons interested in the breed. Gotta let you know what you're getting yourself into and if you're willing to take up that task. All right, as you know, if you've been a part or subscribed to my channel, I'm always preaching health and confirmation. But to the common air, it would seem like just a slogan to those who aren't a part of this American Bully community. But for those who have these awesome animals, you know the strife we face with the breed. As the saying goes, guys, beauty has its price. I'm gonna name the most common issues the American Bully has and also give advice to new owners or persons interested if they can see past the issues and also give them ways to combat these things properly so they can enjoy this wonderful breed. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. First and foremost, the most common issue the American Bully faces is allergies. Whether it be skin allergies or food allergies, this breed is a bit sensitive and can have either severe or mild cases from hives to loose to losing all furs, patches, things of that nature, um, swelling of the throat, swelling of the paws, the many different things that you can see as it relates to how an individual dog reacts to an allergic reaction. Um, even to the point of being hospitalized, guys. Um, different type of allergies affect each individual dog differently. Some dogs can be allergic to grass, dander, fibers, detergents, things of the nature. Um, and then you have food allergies, where most commonly it's either wheat in a low kibble quality diet or the type of meat or binders used in that low quality diet. So therefore my advice would be guys, if you see your dog having some kind of reactions, a little bit of hives, a little bit of red spots, and you see it occur more frequently with a particular brand of food use that opportunity guys get them tested and um to try to limit it as much as possible get it tested first before you do anything else once you get them tested get a skin scraped get a blood sample to see exactly what you're dealing with to make sure it is one or the other and once you do that then you move forward with changing his diet appropriately and changing the surroundings appropriately to better protect and give him a better life It'll be up to you if you decide to breed him at that point. I personally, I mean, it's such a huge part of the breed. We want to try to figure out a way to limit it. But um, again, make sure you get tested. Um, moving forward, that is, I think, the best way to combat that, guys. Next is the Bracephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome, better known as BOAS, as I like to pronounce it a boss um depending on the shape of the dog's face boss may or may not be an issue those dogs with very squished faces and small nostrils and unopened nostrils are most likely to be affected in extreme cases dogs can find it hard to exercise move and catch their breath and have noisy obtrusive breathing even while at rest or at a stop this would be that loud and ghastly piggish sound you may have heard from a few bullies more extreme cases are mind-blowing um, only way to possibly correct this issue affected by canines would be from corrective surgery guys so again get in contact with your vet in your local area and try to see how best you can take care of that so your forever friend can be safe and have a more enjoyable life next guys is hip and elbow dysplasia yes you see it on the screen this is another common issue for bullies these orthopedic issues either crawl chronic excuse me or mild to the point that <laughs> the only thing i can say is prevention is key so my suggestion would be get your pup tested for the eh uh, as I like to commonly say, which would be the elbow, the hips, and the heart. And in short, it's a good quality stock. But for even further prevention, 
any stud you decide to use make sure you get the embark results to ensure that the stud has everything that it needs and no issues that you don't want in your future animals this is important because once your dog has it there's no surefire way to get rid of it there are surgeries but nothing to 100 percent bring back that dog's health and you know we're about health guys so keep that in mind this is uh, one of the main reasons why i push so heavily for health testing when it comes to breeding guys for better health for better quality of life for the dogs man okay um and lastly is heart murmurs something that as of recent has been plaguing this breed much more prominently and um i believe affecting um some death of some really big dogs that did a lot in this community um don't get me wrong heart murmurs typically occur in bulldog breeds and mostly common in some and, and puppies between the ages of 10 to 12 weeks of age um, if a murmur is still present at four months of age it is usually not the pediatric or innocent murmur that we often hear in younger puppies those murmurs usually disappear by like i said 10 to 12 weeks of age there's still a small possibility that the murmur may disappear over the next month or two but the only way to know for sure is to have an echocardiogram performed by a veterinary cardiologist this would enable you to know what type of murmur it is and what valve is affected and this will determine what the prognosis is from that point forward some types of murmurs are caused by the narrowing of valves such as the aortic stenosis or the pulmonary stenosis which is common in bulldog breeds as i said before guys these conditions can be treated with uh blown plasty in some cases but there's still an extremely high risk of sudden death later on in life well as you can see guys that's just what it is so there you have it guys the most common issues affecting the american bully if you buy five pups from five different breeders guys chances are you will get a puppy afflicted or affected with either one or two of these issues again guys let's test and support the breeders let's test the animals sorry and support the breeders who have ethical and proper breeding practices we need for our wonderful animals to continue to last and be here with us um do further research guys this is just the introducing you to the rabbit hole itself it's your decision if you want to go down it okay hope you guys enjoyed today's video be safe have a great day comment like and subscribe for more